Hello and welcome to the Linux Basics course. My name is Mumshad Monambet and I'm with Vijin Palari and we'll be your instructors for this course. As per Stack Overflow's insights, the most common and the most loved platform in the world happens to be Linux. If you do a quick search online on Linux, you'll see some interesting statistics. All of the fastest 500 supercomputers in the world run on Linux. 96.3% of the top 1 million web servers run on Linux. And 86% of all smartphones are powered by Linux. In the cloud and DevOps world, many of the new tools are developed and used in Linux environments first before they are made available on Windows. For example, containerization tools like Docker was only available on Linux-based systems for many years before being supported on Windows platforms. Similarly, automation tools like Ansible requires it to be installed in a Linux environment. Even though Ansible can manage Windows systems as target machines, a Linux system is required to be the Ansible controller. In case of container orchestration tools like a Kubernetes cluster, the master nodes can only be Linux systems. As the documentation says, there are no plans to have a Windows-only Kubernetes cluster as of this recording. So when you go through our Kubernetes series of courses, Setting up a Kubernetes cluster is all done in Linux. The same is true for certification exams. The Kubernetes and the Red Hat Ansible certification exams are all to be done on Linux systems. So if you plan to learn these technologies and get yourself certified, then it's important to have knowledge of basic Linux operating system. DevOps trend in the IT industry is growing exponentially and the demand for DevOps and cloud engineers are on the rise. Every new job position now requires having knowledge of at least a few DevOps tools and at least one of the major cloud providers. And the demand is expected to grow. As more and more organizations are adopting DevOps and running their workloads in the cloud, fundamental understanding of Linux is a must especially if you have been working in a Windows-dominated environment in the past. Some of the most common challenges our students report while learning DevOps are trouble navigating the Linux CLI, directory structures, and working with files, lack of experience with the Linux command line or working with text editors like VI Editor, understanding the different flavors of Linux, handling errors during installation of applications and dependencies and configuring software repositories, issues with networking and DNS in Linux. At other times, it's trouble with permissions and security, like when to use sudo and how to configure permissions. And the most common challenge of all is not having sufficient hands-on experience working with Linux. And that's why we built this course, to help you get your foundations right. Now this is a different kind of course. I recently read the books, The Phoenix Project and The Unicorn Project, and they were amazing. It's a novel about IT and DevOps, and I highly recommend it to anyone working in IT. The books take you through the journey of an IT manager and a software developer, and their challenges in the development and deployment of a project with a tight deadline. The book describes how they overcome these challenges by implementing a better working culture between different teams and using tools to automate tasks. The story format in the book helped me understand not just what DevOps is, but more importantly, the whys. Why do you need a change in process? And why do you need to implement a better working culture? And why do you need these DevOps tools? So we decided that our next course, which is this course, has to be in a story format. That way, you'll know why you need to learn certain concepts. In this course, you'll join Bob, who is a new intern at a fictional company named Kalston Technologies, and Bob is tasked to build and deploy an application for a client demo. Bob is new to Linux and faces numerous challenges while working on his Linux laptop and servers. You'll join Bob in learning Linux throughout this course. You'll see how Bob explores the Linux operating system, the Linux terminal, and start learning about the Linux shell. You'll learn about the core concepts in Linux. These are essential to understand how the Linux system works. This is followed by package management solution in different flavors in Linux. You'll see how this helps Bob to install and manage 
the required software on his system. At this point, Bob has enough experience in Linux to explore the command line even further, learn about the different types of text editors, etc. During a security review call, Bob learns the importance of security in Linux, so he learns about file level security in Linux. While configuring applications, Bob is unable to connect to a database server from his laptop client and learns to troubleshoot issues with assistance from his colleagues. Bob runs out of space on his laptop, so he now learns about configuring storage on a Linux environment. He learns how to format disks and mount them as well as create logical volume groups. Bob wants to configure a custom application to start up on boot on his Linux machine, so he learns about systemd and services. And all of these skills help him overcome the obstacles and deliver his project towards the end. All of our lectures use visualization techniques and analogies to simplify complex concepts. These will make the concepts not only easy to grasp, but also to remember them in the long term. Each lecture in this course is followed by our hands-on labs where you will be given challenges to solve. The labs open up right in your browser, so there is no hassle of setting up environments to practice. You start practicing seconds after the lecture is complete. The labs are fun to work with and give you challenges to solve. Once you solve these challenges, we will validate your work and give you feedback on where you went wrong. If you're not sure how to solve a problem, use the hints to get answers. The most important thing while learning Linux, especially the Linux command line, is practice. The hundreds of questions in our labs throughout this course will give you enough hands-on practice to be confident in Linux. Well, that's all for now. Head over to codecloud.com and enroll in this course today. Thank you.